What up, guys? Dating Coach Harry Wilmington here. You know, one of the things that I talk about extensively on this program is the idea of pacing, the idea that women on average need two to three months of spending time with you before they solidify their feelings enough to make sure that they're making the right choice when they choose you as their boyfriend, right? And so this is why I talk about things like not trying to reveal feelings too early and not trying to ask them about being in a relationship so soon into a courtship. But what happens when the woman seems like the one that's going a bit faster? You know, she's starting to tell you all the feelings she's having. She's the one that's bringing up future speak. Does that then allow you to be able to make the pace at which you're doing things fast since she's going fast? Well, the answer is no. And I want to talk about that today by way of a situation that I found on Reddit of a guy that did just that. And the results, predictably, were not that great. As always, this show is brought to you by Get Girls Academy, my exclusive program designed to help you attract, date, and keep the women you want. As a member, you'll gain access to proven strategies, insider tips, and bi-monthly group coaching sessions where we tackle your biggest questions live. Click the link in the description to learn more and join today. So we're gonna pull from this Reddit thread called Girl of My Dreams pulls a 180 on me out of nowhere, and now I'm heartbroken. And this guy's heartbroken because he was dating this girl, things seem to be going a certain way, and then they start to get cut off, and he's not understanding why. And this is probably true of a lot of guys that watch my type of stuff, where I'll talk about things that are going on as it pertains to what they were doing when they were dating and why it didn't work out, and they don't understand why that should be a thing. So we're gonna get into that so you get a better understanding and you don't make these mistakes. So this guy says, um, he's 28 and he says, I found this girl online. She was pretty and shared one of my most passionate interests in comic books, which I don't encounter pretty much ever. We get talking and we have the same favorite characters and she really knows her stuff. We have the same music taste and a lot of the same hobbies. Now I will say it is great when you come across a woman that has so many interests that are similar to yours, but I want to stress that to women, just because you all have a lot of the same interest in common, it doesn't mean that there's attraction there. So what I don't want you to do is make the mistake of being overexcited about meeting a woman simply because she likes a lot of the stuff that you like. It's, it's a great way to start building attraction and interest, but that's not gonna be the end all be all. And I, I've, I, in my dating past, I made the mistake of thinking, oh my gosh, like this woman likes the same musical things that I do, oh my God, we can talk about that. And then it ends up being like, that's what you end up obsessing over in terms of trying to make a connection. And the woman's like, I, I need more than just this one thing that we like to be, to be able to build attraction and stuff. So just be mindful of that. So this guy says, I go on a date with her, just something casual at a bar for some drinks, and we are there for hours talking and having a great time. We really hit it off. She shares nearly all of my interests, even really niche ones, and is super interested in the, in the others and in me as I am in her. This was an overwhelming success, and she agrees to a second date. Pause here. So I, I like that this guy is having a good time on this date. I'm not a fan of him spending hours on a first date because typically, I tell you guys, you wanna make the best first impression you can and then get out of there at the height of that first impression. So usually more, no more than 90 minutes. If you have to stretch it to two hours, maybe two hours, but like I don't typically go for that first date over 90 minutes and I found that to be very successful because it leaves women wanting more of my time. And so as you go on hours and hours, there's the risk that her interest may not be as high at the end of that date as it would have been had you cut it off. But anyway, he went on that date, had a good time. I also would not have suggested to him, hey, when you're on that first date, plan a second date. There's plenty of videos talking about why that's a bad strategy, but suffice to say, your goal is to show her the best time on this date and then leave her wondering if you're going to contact her again. So when you start planning things like second dates, it gives her the impression in part that maybe you don't have any other options and you would think that's a that's a good thing, but actually women like to think or they need, in order to build attraction in you, it's better for you to give them the impression that you possibly have other potential girls you're dating, which is why you're not trying to plan a second date right away because she's thinking you're gonna go home and take time to assess her. And women appreciate that. Women like to, women are gonna be more attracted to you if they think that you're actually taking time to figure out if you like her versus at the end of the first date being like, yep, I already like you. Like, that's not gonna really get a lot of women to want to be more attracted to you. It just is how it is, you know? Anyway, he says, during this whole time, I am attentive. I show plenty of interest in her 
and let her know that I've enjoyed my time with her, which she reciprocates. So this is what, this, and again, I don't want to, did you guys ever think that you can't ever tell a woman, hey, I'm having, a, I'm having a great time on this date, or hey, you're a really cool person. Like, it's fine to say those things here and there, but the problem is most guys halfway through a date are starting to come out with the, oh, you're so great. Oh, I can see this working out. Oh my God, I can see a future of me and you together. And again, that is the thing that's going to start, you're, you're telling her feelings, you're telling her emotions, and these are things that early on, it gives women pressure into having to choose you. And so this is why typically the guys that win are the ones that kind of are holding back a little bit by, in telling a woman about how they're feeling or seeing a future with. Like, again, in my experience, I found I had way more success when I wasn't vocalizing those things on the first few dates. So if, you're success, if, you're, if you've had success at doing that, then don't listen to what I'm saying at all. I have found that didn't work, so I stopped doing it and I got better results. So then he says, but I'm incredibly nervous because the last time I was in something like a relationship was seven years ago. I really, really like this girl and I don't wanna mess it up. So he's already feeling this heightened level of emotion for her after one date, which amounts to like a couple of hours, maybe three hours together. Guys, in a women's, in a women's mind, that is not enough time for you to have fully figured out your feelings. And she's basing it off the fact that it takes her two to three months to fully solidify her feelings for you. And some guys will come in here and say like, well, but that's not true because some other Chad and Tyrone can just do whatever with her after like one or two dates. I didn't say hook up. Women are also horny and will hook up with you on a first, second, third, fourth, fifth date. But to them, that's actually lower stakes than trying to call what you're doing a relationship. A relationship has other things that are attached to it that in a woman's head isn't earned yet and it's too pressure to be happening this early on. So she could be being willing to hook up with you or whatever, but you coming out after that being like, oh, this hookup was so great and I really love you and care for you and I wanna be, that's gonna be the things that's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. The hookup was just part of the finding out process. What's going on, dude? Like slow this to freak down, which you're gonna see in a minute. So anyway, so then he says the second date is also a massive success. We talk about plans we wanna make and things we wanna do together, pause. So. What that reads to me is, is that he was probably the one saying to her, hey, we should do more stuff together. We should do this and this, and we both like these things about comic books, so we should also go to a comic book store and do this, this, this. Again, making future plans is not what you should be doing in these early dates, because again, there needs to be a level of her thinking that she needs to earn more of your attention. And if by the second date, you're already giving her the impression that she has to do no work, and you, she's already impressed you enough, to where you've made your decision and it's gonna be her, that is going to make her start to back away a bit. Just telling you. So then he says, um, and we kissed for the first time. Kudos for going for the kiss, A plus on that. And for me, the first time in years. I let her know it's been a while, but she says that my nervousness was cute. Okay, so that's a lie. You will hear women across the board say things like, oh, you're so nervous, oh, that's so sweet, oh my God, that's so cute, oh no, no, I love it when a guy's nervous. Most of those guys don't get future dates because the reality is women like men that seem to know what they're doing. You indicating that you're nervous or that you're anxious or that you haven't kissed or hooked up with anybody in a while says to women, because I don't know what I'm doing in order to attract women or keep them. Women don't wanna date guys that don't know what they're doing. So this is why, even if that's true for you, I always have the, the mind frame that just not every thought that I have has to be said. Not every experience that I've gone through needs to be shared. And you telling women that you're a virgin or that you haven't hooked up in a while or that it's been X amount of years since whatever, you might feel that and might be thinking that. Those aren't things that are going to make women attracted to you. Like, think about it, right? You're telling her, I'm a guy that no girls wanted to be with in seven years. I'm glad you're here. That's not gonna make her feel like she's winning a prize. It's gonna make her feel like she's taking the, the bottom of the barrel leftovers and that's not the feeling you wanna give women that, are, that you want to choose you. So then he says, after talking for a little while longer and meeting some more, so, and meeting some more I meet her friends and go to her house too. Pause. You should not be meeting friends this early on because the goal is to build up her interest enough to where it's so solid that when she finally does bring you around friends and family, let's say they have a, an, a weird opinion of you or you say something or do something that one of her friends finds off-putting, she spent enough time with you to where she knows, oh, but that's not how he normally is or she'll make excuses all day about that not being a thing. And that's easier to do once she's actually like the girlfriend. 
But if you go in on a couple of dates and you're already meeting friends, it's gonna be easier for her feelings for you to be uh, persuaded against by her friends than if you had more time in with her. This is why I tell you guys, you should be waiting until she's the girlfriend to really start meeting friends and family. He said, they seem to like me, the friends, and I like them too, doesn't matter. We get intimate, but nothing more than kissing and touching, which I was very happy with. That's a lie. You know you want it more. And here's the thing, because guys think, okay, if I just go with the kissing and touching and I don't do anything else, then she's gonna see that I'm respecting her boundaries and blah, 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 blah. What women see that as is a man that's not willing to go after what he wants and a guy that might be a little soft. Because as a guy, you should be trying to push for more. And you might be thinking, but she's kissing me and touching me, that's all I need but she's looking for you to be the one to initiate potentially doing more. And when you're not, then that signals to her that you're trying to let her be the one to completely lead this thing and women are not attracted to that. At least again, in my experience, all this time she's talking to me like she really, really likes me and is interested in pursuing a relationship, saying that she wants to talk about comics with me forever and that no one has ever been this nice to her and that most boys would be put off by her nerdiness, but she is happy that she can just be herself around me. So I will say that this is actually great feedback to get from a woman. A woman that's willing to say, hey, you know what? I really like you. I can see this going the distance. Like these are things that from the woman are perfectly fine or normal to hear. It's giving you feedback because your, your job is to show actions that indicate you care. And then her job is supposed to be the one that she's gonna be prim primarily in the beginning, like verbalizing a lot of the stuff, which gives you intel, right? But here's where guys get tripped up. You see, like I said, I told you guys, don't talk feelings, don't talk future, don't talk relationship. You're dating, and there's kind of like an implied thing. If you're, if you're dating and regularly seeing each other, it's because you're hoping this leads towards something. But there's just a different texture about you verbalizing that versus showing the action of that that gives women the ick, right? So everything she said here is absolutely great feedback, but the mistake guys make is thinking, because she said this stuff to me, now I can say it to her. And we think that for a few reasons. One, we think that, well, okay, if she's saying it, she must want us to say it back. And also, we don't wanna be the guy that we see as like the bad boy or the jerk that a woman tells us her feelings and we're like, yeah, okay, whatever, chick, and then we just leave it alone. Like, we don't wanna be that guy because that in our head, that's a, that's a bad guy to be. So we think, okay, I gotta now verbalize back to her all the things that she said to me and also top on that, you know what? I actually want a relationship out of this because I don't want her to think it's just about sex and blah, 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 blah. And what are the results of that? Let's find out. So this guy says, um, now to a couple of days ago, I go to her house and we spend a nice day marathoning X-Men. Things get intimate again, but things get in the way and we don't hook up, which again, I'm still perfectly fine with as I'm ecstatic to just be in the presence of this girl. Pause. Guys, women can feel that. Women can feel when you're just happy to be here and I'll take whatever she gives me because I just wanna be chosen. And you, when you run with that energy, that is not the energy from a woman of a man that is confident in himself and sees himself as the prize. Because what this says is, I don't get any other options, so I'll just take whatever you give me. And that is not a pleasing feeling to a woman, which means she could start to lose interest. So then he says, I talked to her. So remember the conversation we had earlier about she was telling him all the things and the future speak and all this other stuff, which from coming from women, totally fine. From this guy, he says, I talked to her about exactly how long it has been for me, bad idea, and tell her that I like her a lot and would like if she would be my girlfriend. What's her response? Well, he says, she pauses and says, it's not a no, but ask me again in two weeks. We've not known each other too long. So what I tell you guys all the time, and, and what's, what's important to point out here, that just because she's verbalizing within the first couple of weeks, hey, I really like you, hey, I can see myself talking to you forever in a day, blah, 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 like in the moments that she's saying those things, she means those things. But that does not mean that she is completely solidified in where she wants this to go. And it doesn't mean more importantly that she wants to hear this from you. She's cool going, you know, you doing actions, you asking her for the date, you inviting her over, you watching TV together, you going on dates, you guys rubbing up on each other, you guys eventually hooking up. All these things, these actions say to women on a, on a, on a subconscious level, wow, this guy is probably into me, but there's still an air of mystery for her about just how much. And that part, her trying to figure that out 
is what's going to propel her to continue to go out with you as she's figuring out her feelings, but also it becomes a puzzle for her of, and I'm also trying to figure out his feelings. And that means I gotta go talk to my girlfriends, my mom, and I gotta go look up online about what this means when he says this. And I've had so many women friends that have dated guys where they'll come to me and say, I don't know what's going on because I can't figure this out, or he did this action, does he like the blah, blah, and all that does is keep him on her mind, okay? And that's the goal of the first few months is to be able to keep her, keep you on her mind without you forcing it to happen to whereby she realizes, oh, I'm thinking about this guy all the time, therefore I am choosing to think about him because I potentially have an interest in him that I wanna build long term. And that, that's the only way this, this happens is if she thinks it's her choice and if her mind is helping her do that. You trying to say all the things like, I really care about you, it's been a long time since I've had a girlfriend, and blah, blah, she doesn't care about that. She cares about what is she feeling about you. And some guys don't like to hear that. They don't like to hear, well, it's not fair that she doesn't care about my feelings. Guys, I didn't say it was fair. I'm saying that in terms of you getting what you want, one, this is why it's good to be more indifferent. And two, you will find that when you're indifferent, women become very, non-indifferent in terms of wanting to choose you and prove to you why you should choose them. It's the other way around. If she's chasing you, she can't be replacing you. But when you're chasing her, it's always gonna be too much. And this is what this guy is learning right now because what does she say? The same thing I tell you guys all the time. Um, we've not known each other too long. They've probably been going out for three weeks. It takes women three months. So at the three week mark, I don't care if she's done told you, you're, you've been the best guy I've ever dated in my whole life. That does not mean you come out and say, oh, well, you're the best girl and I really like you and let's just go ahead and be boyfriend and girlfriend. It, it is better to err on the side of being patient and waiting three months. Because worst case scenario is she comes to you after a month and a half and says, hey, what are we? In which case, that is still a better option than you coming to her after three weeks and saying, hey, we should be boyfriend or girlfriend. You're, you're more likely than not going to lose out on that proposition as this guy's about to find out. So he says, so she says, uh, we've not known each other for too long. He says, okay, I'm fine with that. I don't wanna rush things. But I'm also concerned because I said this in the heat of the moment when I really wanted to make sure of what she's comfortable with and what she wants first. And there it is. Too many guys are worried about if I'm taking a girl out and I'm using resources, I don't wanna waste my time and so I need to emphatically know that this is gearing towards a relationship. And I keep trying to stress to you guys, women aren't going to know that about their feelings for you until month two and a half to three. Yes, she's going out with you, she's hooking up with you, all these various things, but these actions that she's doing, it's her way of helping to further build up her attraction to where she trusts you enough and trusts you know, you're consistent, you've, you've been showing up time and time again and showing her a good time, she has all these feelings, and at the point that she has all these feelings, is when she's ready to be in a relationship. You guys are trying to catch women after two or three weeks when they've built up some of the feelings because you've built up all the feelings too fast, by the way, because you should be doing a lot more to analyze the situation, but because you have all these feelings so fast, you're getting mad at her for not having all the feelings so fast. And it's not that she doesn't have feelings for you, it's that she has not had time to trust herself enough to choose you fully as that guy, and you have not given her the time. So what she's saying right here is absolutely true. It's like she said, in two weeks, she probably needs two more months, but she doesn't wanna say that because to women, that sounds dumb. Like it sounds dumb to say, I need three months to really choose you, and she knows most guys don't wanna hear that. But that's the timetable for the majority of women is about two to three months before they're ready to get into a relationship. So then he says, the next day I don't hear from her at all and I'm full of anxiety, constantly feeling like I'm going to be sick because um, I've messed up. Then I get a message and my nightmare became reality. Here we go, guys. She says that things got intense really quickly and it was too much for her and that she doesn't see things working out. Now, why is this? The reason this is, is because this is how women think, right? They think that you came to them saying you're ready for a relationship, and now she's thinking, well, she's not there yet. If you're wanting it now, and she doesn't want it now, that must mean that you guys aren't quite aligned, and hey, maybe the fact that, you're not, that she's not there yet means that she's not gonna really totally get there, and now it's not fair to you that she stays around because if you're already there and she's not, it's gonna be a weird dynamic when you go on dates because she's gonna know that you're wanting a relationship and she's not sure yet if she's ever gonna get there, and so it's better for her to just be out. Besides, like she says, Things were moving too fast. Now, the guy's gonna be thinking, but wait, she was the one that was saying the future speak and tell me she really likes comic books and all this other stuff. And again, that is true. They can do that. But when they hear that from us, the result is 
it feels too intense too quickly. So you guys that want to go over there and blab about your feelings and all this other stuff, this is probably a big reason why you're actually losing out on a lot of women that would have potentially been your girlfriend because you're thinking, I got to tell her all the things. And I'm trying to tell you that telling her all the things feels like too much and it feels like forcing her to make a decision about you. And after two or three weeks, she's not, she's rarely going to be there. Like, I don't want to say, oh my God, no girls ever not dated a guy after two weeks and been boyfriend and girlfriend. It has happened. A lot of times those flame out, but it has happened. But as a general rule, you err better on the side of caution if you're a bit more patient than she, than, than she is. You know, you, you're trying to come at her with all these feelings. You need to be curtailing that until such a time as she starts coming to you. Hey, so how do you feel about me? Or so I'm not seeing anybody else. What about you? Or where do you think this is going? Like when she's asking those questions, that's when you start to know, oh, she's probably ready for that talk. But if she is not doing that, then you don't bring it up. And even if she is doing it, you gotta know what the timetable is, whereby if she's saying it on month one, this doesn't mean it's time for you to blab those things because she still needs at least two more months in the oven before she's ready to be at full bake, if you get what I'm saying. So then, but she says, I asked her if this was because I asked her to be my girlfriend and if it would be the same if I didn't, she says it would be. That's a lie, but women are going to lie to you when they're rejecting you because they're trying to give you a soft blow. He says, I just don't understand how fast this complete turnaround can happen. Things were going so well and all signs pointed towards her wanting to be with me just for this to happen. And I can't help but beat myself up over it because I misread the signs and scared her off. Well, he didn't misread the signs. He just took the signs as where she's at with her like for me is more intense than it actually is. And as men, we have a habit of doing that because in our day-to-day -day lives amongst other men, we're not revealing feelings about other guys. We're not, even if they're just our best friends, we're not saying, hey buddy, I love you so much. And oh my God, this is so great. And I love this friendship. Like we're not typically on our day-to-day -day getting a lot of um, emotional feedback about the time we're spending with somebody else. And so when we get that from women, we think, oh my God, she's telling me she likes me. She's saying she likes spending time with me. She must be ready for a relationship. And that's something you gotta know, guys, that women do that do that amongst themselves all the time. Women are constantly telling other women, hey, you're so pretty, you're such a great friend, I love you so much. So that's not all that different for them, but for us it is. So you have to beware, there's gonna be a misread into how much she's feeling for you by her verbalizing these things because you're not used to it. Just know that just because she's verbalizing it after two or three dates, it doesn't mean that she's fully there in terms of her decision to be your girlfriend and that that's gonna take about two more extra months. Okay, you just have to know that as a guy because it's gonna feel weird otherwise. So then he says, I feel like someone has pushed me off a cliff and I'm in perpetual free fall. It hurts so bad and I wish it would stop. I fell for her so hard and I really thought that she could have been the one. What am I supposed to do now? I don't want another seven years of loneliness with no girls being interested in me. I try my best to put myself out there, but nothing ever came along until she did. I hate myself so much. Well, the reality is most guys, unfortunately, do not really know the ins and outs of how dating and attraction and stuff works. And I was the same way. In my early 20s, I, I was just starting to find other mentors and people online and other guys that I knew that could like, I could observe and read things and get an idea of like, oh, all the things that I thought should work, which I learned from women, don't actually work to attract them. What do I need to do instead? And so if you as a guy are just willing to go on the journey of discovering what actually works, you'll find that dating women is actually pretty easy. Like once you learn the ins and outs of what things actually attract them, what they actually fall for, the things that they actually need from guys in their relationships, how they observe us, what things about us turn them on versus turn them off, and what you can do to improve that, then the improvements don't have to be that hard. The hardest part is practicing those things and then also getting out of your head the idea that if you try to change a few things about yourself, it's not authentically you. You can still be your authentic self while at the same time understanding that you can change a few things here and there in order to get better results. But also the big important thing is this, is that at the end of the day, just know the timetable for women in terms of getting them to be attracted enough to wanna be your girlfriend is three months. And during that time, they're gonna show you a bunch of signals that you're gonna think indicate she's ready. She's gonna you know, say yes to dates. She's gonna kiss on you, hug on you, talk about how handsome you are, start getting you these little gifts or whatever. All that stuff is great. But to her, that's just part of the journey of building up attraction. It is nothing that is yet emphatically saying, I wanna be your girlfriend. Trust me, when women are ready to be in an actual relationship with you, there is nothing that they will not do to show you as directly as possible for them that they want that. And that's why I tell you guys, after two or three months, if you're not trying to do all these things, 
Women will come to you. Hey, what are we? Hey, so, you know, what do you think about us being in a relationship? Hey, so my friends are asking what's going on with us. Like, these are the things that let you know that she's ready. Her just saying, I have a great time with you all the time and I can see this going the distance, that does not mean that she's ready in this moment. You, there's a difference between her just complimenting you versus giving in this moment commentary that indicates that she's ready now for a relationship. And if you need to learn stuff like that, I got a whole program at my website, which you're gonna learn about shortly. But hopefully for now, some of what I've talked about will help you out. Hey there, thanks for tuning in to Harry Dating Convos. Don't forget to visit harrywilmington.com to download my free ebook, Texting Women Like a Boss. And while you're there, if you're ready to take things to the next level with your dating life, check out the Get Girls Academy membership program for exclusive strategies and live coaching. Go to harrywilmington.com to learn more and join today. Lastly, if you've got a question you'd like answered on one of these shows, leave a comment below or write me at harrywilmington at gmail.com. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.